What's going on ladies and gents, your boy Dread, I'm back with another video and um, a couple of you guys have hit me up with some interesting topics that y'all want me to talk about. For instance, like my boy uh, QB's one wanted me to talk about, can a girl and a guy be just friends? You know, the friend zone. And my boy, um, the Light Seeker 94 he wanted me to talk about girls and the cop blocking friends. So I figured, why not just do a double header or two for one, just knock out both subjects in one video, because the topics pretty much go hand in hand. Now I want to talk about the friend zone first. Now, can a girl and a guy be just friends? For the most part, hell no. I mean, and come on, we've all heard the um, the open lines for the friend zone. They're, they start with this, because like, I was watching Scott John's video on this too. Let's just be friends. We can't be friends because I care about you too much, and I don't want to lose what we have. And the, this is my favorite friend zone line. You're like a brother to me. We can't date because you're like my brother. And to counter with this one, well, bitch, if this is illegal, well, I wouldn't counter with that line, but I'm saying, Ladies, why do you tempt us? Why do you want to put us in that friend zone? And the friend zone is just like quicksand. The longer you're in there, fellas, and some ladies, the harder it is to get out. And there's a lot more cons to the friend zone than pros. Like, for instance, fellas, if you start out talking to a girl with as friends, and, you know, that's how it starts sometimes. If you start out talking to her, and then it gets serious, it becomes a relationship. If you have something happens between you and y'all break up, the friendship will never be the same again. Another thing about being trapped in the fan zone, which is really annoying, is that you're always the on-call person. You're always the errand boy, where she always asks you to do favors for her. Like, for instance, can you give me a ride here? Can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And Scott Johnson, women always want, 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 and never give. But, oh, here's a pro to the friend zone, and I tried this shit out, and it actually worked. It pissed her off a little bit. And the person who I'm referring to, she watches, well, I'm not going to say her name directly, but she watches my videos, and I talk to her off YouTube. So, if she's watching this, she should know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, if she if she wants to um, say friends do each other favors, all right, well, be like, well, hook me up with, hook me up with your homegirls. All right, well, if friends do each other favors, date one of her friends. I mean, see if she see if that doesn't you know get under her skin a little bit. And thing number three that really gets under my skin about the friend zone is that, gentlemen, when it comes to her, you are boyfriend potential, but you're the the sideline guy. You're the guy on the sidelines. That means you have to wait to turn while every other guy comes up to her. And then when you're on the phone with her, you have to listen to her talk about other dudes. And ladies, stop talking about other dudes to fellas. That is a really pet peeve of mine. I do not want you to talk about another nigga around me or on the phone. I don't want to hear about Derek. I don't want to hear about Jerome. I don't want to hear about Tyreek. I don't want to hear about Aaron. I don't want to hear about Dominique. Don't ever talk about another nigga around me. Ladies, that is not the business. Fellas hate that shit. So stop it. And here's the thing that I got. Here's a, um, a pet peeve. Of, well, here's another pet peeve of mine. Because ladies, you are greedy when it comes to this shit like this. You always want to have your cake and eat it too. It's okay for you to have a whole bunch of male friends around. But there's the thing. He's not your friend. He does not want to be your friend. He just wants to hit them draws just like any other guy wants to. But he's just trying to play it low key. And he's trying not to be so obvious about it. But the main thing is, why is it okay for females to have a bunch of straight male friends around. But then you want to get upset when I or somebody else has, a, you know, another guy has a, a homegirl. Or even if it's somebody like his cousin, you want to get suspicious. Like, who is that girl you were talking to? I'm like, man, that's my cousin. Why is it you want to get suspicious when we have a male or a female friend? Like I said before, the only real pro to having a female friend if you're a straight guy is just to get her to introduce you to more of her friends or maybe her sister or her cousin or something. But we all know the problem. But what's the solution? What is the way out of the friend zone? It's really tough to say because it's a matter of making your move at the right time and how you make your move but chill in a nutshell the friend zone sucks for men and for some women too you know women get thrown in the friend zone too but if um fella fellas if a girl wants to, if you're interested in a girl and she says let's just be friends then just be straight up with her and say look if i can't be your girlfriend then i don't want anything to do with you at all because i got enough friends that's what men are for so in a nutshell the friend zone sucks don't get me wrong, folks, because there are some female friends, I have some female friends that I'm mad cool with and joke around and laugh with and everything, but I guess it's a matter of treating them like they're people instead of females. Which brings me to the next topic, girls and their cock-blocking friends. Girls, I mean, whether you know it or not, females, your friends have a lot of influence over you. Especially if you're going to a club or party or something, you got those two friends that drag you along to say, if we come together, we're going to leave together. Ladies, what do you get, I mean, especially... The, the, especially the friends, what do you get out of cop blocking your friend or just cop blocking another dude? Are you pissed off because you're alone and she's probably not going to be? I mean, if that's the case, then that's really selfish because you should want your friend to be happy. And, and plus, y'all are uh, very misdirected with that, too. What I mean by that is, like, especially if you uh, if she sees a guy she might like, she's like, and you want to say, 
oh, don't dig him. I heard something about him. I heard something bad. And then you want to point her in the, in the direction of a nice guy, I mean, of a bad guy, instead of somebody who could have been potentially nice. You could have, what you could have heard about that guy, it might have been true. It might not have been true. But then she wouldn't have known unless you would just go ahead and just let her talk to the guy. But then you want to point her in the guy, somebody who's like, point her in the direction of somebody who's like, oh, look at him. Girl, girl, you should talk to him. He has a nice Mercedes Benz and he got a $400,000 chain on. Then he's going to end up treating her like crap. And then she, you're gonna, then the relationship is going to fall apart and fail. And then she's going to be mad at you and say, why did you tell me to talk to him? And then she's like, I thought he was a nice guy. I thought he was good. Wrong. What do you get out of pointing your friends in the wrong direction of somebody? So, ladies, you need to stop cop blocking because that shit is bad for me, it's bad for men in general, and it's bad for women in general. Fellas, we know not to cop block other fellas because that's a violation of the man code. And I discussed the man code in another video. Because we know if we cop block each other, we might as well just be re-chewing our food because we can get our kick, we gonna get our damn teeth kicked down to our throats again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all let me know if y'all got any more topics and what y'all think of this one of the friend zone and uh, cop blocking friends. Peace.